All right, so we've got the front shock off, and it's getting dark. We've been working late today. We had a lot of cars and stuff come in, but basically you got two lock nuts here on it. So you're going to have to compress the spring from the outside to it, and you got the same T30. You got to secure this so it doesn't spin. And we got two. Over here, really. And we got two wrenches here to loosen up the lock, the uh, the lock nuts on there. So you just put one right here on the bottom, like so, and another right here on the top, and you just turn it. There's a little Loctite on it. And it's loose. And right now it's not turning, so we got them both off just like this, and it's pretty simple. So once you get it off, it's the same concept as the other. We're going to just loosen it up, take these pieces off. What you have here is one lock nut holds the spring down, the other lock nut locks that lock nut down, or locks the bolt down. Pretty simple. So we're going to loosen it back up. Loosening mechanism. Vintage strut compressor. Cost is $25. And it should be about done. This is a big one. And that's it right there. Don't lose your lock nuts because Kip sure as hell didn't come with any. Loosened up right there. And look at right there. We'll move over to our workbench. So, now we'll take this off. You got your thing right there. Let's line them up, see what they look like. That's significantly shorter, I guess, about a half inch, did you say? Roughly, so. You got it here at the fully compressed rate. We're going to put it around medium because it's a hell of a lot easier to adjust right there. Okay, so a little malfunction. We keep running out of batteries, but we got some new ones in there. So you, we've already lined them up. It's uh, significantly shorter, at least noticeably. So we're going to put this on this lowest setting so it's easier to compress for us because we basically we had to stick a pry bar in there to wedge it up to get out unless you want to bleed the brakes which I didn't really want to do. So fine. Then we're going to stick the rising part up towards the top just like we did on the back. You got your uh, keeper. keeper in right there and you got your two washers right here. Now we're going to go ahead. You know and put a, you notice as it is right now, we can actually just screw this on here as is. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to put some Loctite on there and screw it on now, and then we'll, we'll put it in the vise and cinch it down a little bit. And it don't take a whole lot. A little dab will do you. So, we'll just put a little bit on there. And it just screws down there. Real nice. And now we're going to stick it on the vise. So it might be a little tricky because we got a different spring, different mechanism, but we should still be able to. I can tell you this, it this it was the strut compressor was pushing up against it, so you know it's shorter than a hell of a lot shorter than that first one. So that's I guess that's a good thing because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to lower it a little bit so my feet can hit the ground easier. And keep it on there good. We're lowering it down. And it lowers it down nice and easy. How about that? You want to make sure you lower it down enough where you can fit the uh, 
I'm going to lower it down enough where you can fit the wrench on it. over on, on its way down. Far as it'll go. All right, so as far as it'll go down, we still got a little lock on it. Lock tail there. We're just going to screw this one on there as well. And it really ain't got to be too tight because we got this thing pushing up against it. So we get our wrenches, which are right here. This big daddy right here. because it's a little crooked. We're going to hold it over. See crooked as we loosen it back up. Well, camera guy, loosen the screw. Wavy camera. Woohoo! And it fit in there. And we it on up. And now it's ready to remount back on the bike. So, $240 to lower the bike. An inch and a half with reasonably decent shocks on there. So, we're going to see if it's a decent buy and we're taking it off-road this weekend. So, we'll find out. So, sorry. take care. Alright, so we got the shocks mounted on the bike, we got our knobby tires on it, and just want to do one more video. I'm about 5'8", I've ridden it for about a day and a half. Now the ad says it'll lower it about an inch and a half or a little over an inch. I think I may have gotten maybe a half inch to an inch, maybe at the most. It's uh, I've got it on the lowest setting in the front, and it's not really a lot lower. I've driven around, the shock performs very well. Uh, $240 is kind of a hassle to do, you know, especially if you're doing it by yourself. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but we'll find out when we ride this weekend to see if it's got a little more performance. So look for more videos to come.